Okay, everybody, let's discuss today's lesson, and I feel much better now Good. after having <laughs> gone to the drugstore. So today's conversation is entitled, Is the Drugstore the Best Medicine? A drugstore is where you go to buy medicine or drugs. It's also called a pharmacy, mm -hmm. and in England, I believe, they call it the chemist's. Uh-huh, they sure do. So there are lots of different names for this very important store because sometimes you're in pain and you need to go to the drugstore to see if they have anything to make you feel better. Maybe you have a sore throat and you need something for a cold. That would be a good place to go. Let's take a look now at our lesson today. It's a dialogue between two characters. It's our For You Theater. And we've got Maylene and Nicholas, and they're friends. Now, Maylene is calling Nicholas on the phone. She wants to see what's going on with him. She doesn't know that he's in pain yet, but she's going to find out. Right, so she introduces herself. This is Maylene, and then Nicholas is going, Oh, yeah. Ah. So he is in pain, and if we talk about a situation where you're feeling pain or feeling a certain way, we use that preposition in. I'm in pain, okay? I have some problems with pain, so I'm feeling pain right now, and he is in pain. Yeah, if you're really in a lot of pain, you can say, I'm in agony, which is a really high degree of pain. Well, that's how he answers the phone. He goes, ah, ah, you know something's wrong. Maylene says, hey, are you okay? You sound like you're dying. Well, I guess he feels like it. He says, I have a terrible toothache. If you have a toothache, it just means one of your teeth is hurting. Oh, and when you have a toothache, it really hurts a lot. It's right there in your head and you can't ignore it. Terrible here is one of our vocabulary words and it just means uh, really bad, doesn't it? Extremely bad to a very great degree. We use bad or terrible a lot in English for different things like you could be in a bad car accident and say, oh, it was a terrible accident. Maybe you were injured. Or maybe you went to a really bad restaurant that had terrible food. You could say, don't go there, that's a terrible restaurant. Right, and here he says he has a terrible toothache. When we talk about different problems we might have, we often use the word ache. And we can say, I've got a toothache, or I've got a headache. But you wouldn't say, I have a uh, throat ache. No. You'd say you have a sore throat, or you wouldn't say, oh, I've got a leg ache. Nah, we'd say a sore leg. An ache is usually caused by some problem inside your body, and if you say sore, maybe it's because you were exercising mm -hmm. too much. Oh, I have a sore back from lifting all those heavy boxes. Yeah, I bet some of you, like me, have had a stomach ache. Maybe you had some bad food, or you had the flu. Oh, and it hurt a lot. Maybe you even threw up. Ooh. So we do put ache onto some of those words, but not all of them. Well, Maylene says, hey, my gosh, why didn't you tell me? I can take you to the dentist. So she's a good friend. She's offering to take him to the dentist so he won't have to go alone. A dentist is someone whose job is to help fix your teeth. He's going to take care of your teeth so they stay in good shape. Sometimes a dentist will clean your teeth. That's great, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he has to fix them because they're hurting you, and he might have to do some things that kind of hurt. So he'll first give you a shot so you can't feel what he's doing so well. Mm -hmm, that's right. And most people are scared of the dentist because, unfortunately, mm -hmm. there is a lot of pain mm -hmm. in the mouth. But remember, dentists are people just like you and me. They're trying to raise a family and stuff like that. So give them a little bit of a break. <laughs> 
And in any case here, Nicholas says that, well, that's what I'm afraid of because I can't stand the dentist. Yeah. If you can't stand something, that means you just can't take it. It's something you can't accept and it makes you feel extremely uncomfortable. Like, for example, some people come to Taiwan from Canada, which is kind of a cold place, yeah. and it's so hot here. So they often say, oh, I can't stand the heat here. It's so hot. <laughs> well, Nicholas is afraid to go. He's really afraid of the needles ooh, and the drills that the dentist uses. A drill is a machine that they put down into your mouth and it makes a small hole. I just hate the sound of it, Tom. It scares me. I can do oh. it. I can do it. Oh. Yes. Right. Most people hate that sound, and he doesn't like the needles and the drills. Yeah. But Maylin says, but you can't just lie there complaining all day. So if you do have a toothache or if you have some kind of problem, you've got to take care of it. You can't just lie there and complain about it. So, of course, if you complain, you say bad things about something, and usually people don't like to hear other people complain. No. Oh, my life is so terrible. Why do all these bad things happen to me? It always rains, and I'm always late for work, and the bus never comes, and I don't make enough money. That's complaining. Yeah, now, what he's doing there is he's lying down. If you're lying down, it means your body is flat on the ground or on top of your bed or even on top of the sofa. You can lie down on the sofa. You can't lie down on a chair, though. You have to sit in a chair. So your body has to be flat. Now, lie is our word power word. We've got some more explanations for you. Word Power. Welcome to Word Power. Today's word is lie. In today's dialogue, Mei Lin tells Nicholas that he can't lie down all day. Lie is a verb that means to be in a position where your body is flat on a bed, the floor, or a sofa. Lie is an irregular verb with the forms lie lay, and lane. For example, at midnight, Colin lay down to go to sleep. Or, Sarah has lain on her bed all day. Lie can also be used to mean that someone did not tell the truth. Unlike the other lie, the verb forms here are lie, lied, and lied. For instance, Sam lied to his mom when he said he finished his homework. That's all the time we have for Word Power. Thanks for listening. Okay, so again, she says he should not lie there complaining all day, and he needs to take care of that problem, or else it will only get worse. Now, to take care of something means to handle something. You've got this problem or this thing that needs to be done, mm -hmm. and you take care of it. You make the arrangements, and you finish the job. So if you're working at the office, there are lots of things that you need to take care of. You need to get those things done. Well, here to take care of is our sentence for you for today. So let's learn some more, and then let's listen to our Chinese teacher. <laughs> 